Well, next week, the U.S. and China will hold high-level talks focusing on the opioid crisis. A delegation to Beijing, including the DEA and Homeland Security officials, will make a push for China to stop the flow of chemicals that are used to make synthetic fentanyl. Now, according to the CDC, 88 percent of drug overdose deaths back in 2021, they involved dangerously addictive synthetic opioids, including fentanyl. NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey Freyer joins us now live from Beijing. Uh, Jana, Janice, why is the U.S blaming China for our opioid crisis here at home and what do we think is going to happen that's different in this meeting? Well, Morgan, the U.S. has long criticized China for not doing enough to crack down on the chemical supply chains here. This is the flow of precursor chemicals, tens of thousands of them, that have legitimate uses in industry and agriculture and legitimate drugs, but are also used to produce the illicit fentanyl that is ravaging communities across America right now. That's why this meeting set to happen here in Beijing next week marks a significant step. This is the first direct co uh, contact between high-level officials in years. U.S. officials, including uh, from Homeland Security and the DEA, will be traveling to China for what Chinese officials have described as a joint task force to work together to try to help the U.S with the fentanyl crisis. Janice, you had a chance to talk with China's top narcotics official. What did he say about these talks and China's role in this? Did they seem responsive to this mm -hmm. partnership? I spoke with Yu Haibin. He's the deputy director general of the Narcotics Control Bureau for China's Ministry of Public Security. He said that cracking down on supply lines, that's one thing, and it's difficult. It's demand that's the problem. Mm. <laughs> If the U.S. wants to address the fentanyl crisis, it first needs to identify the root cause, which is to stem the problem at its source. It needs to look at demographics, reasons and sources of fentanyl substance misuse, then take targeted action. Second, the demand needs to be reduced, as controlling demand will naturally curb supply. Janice, that was uh, really interesting. Can you just tell me quick, quickly before we go, why is the meeting happening now? What is the timeline? What was the impetus? Well, there hasn't been counter-narcotics cooperation since August of 2022. Remember, that's when China broke off talks as retaliation for Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. And there hadn't been a lot of progress to that point since 2020, when the U.S. sanctioned two labs that fall under the Ministry of Public Security. Now, those labs were removed from the entity list after President Biden met with Xi Jinping in San Francisco. It was a trade-off to try to revive this cooperation that we're going to see here next week. Morgan, Vicki. Just a fascinating interview, yeah. Janice. Really hearing that uh, narcotics official sort of blaming the U.S. for the demand, Saying there's demand. for fentanyl. Wild. All right, NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.